Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Pegasus Drone Media. We're going to be looking at how to cache a map on the H520 Unique Data Pilot app. I've been asked by one of my followers to if I could just do a quick video on this as I was struggling to get it. So first of all you've got to understand why um, we need to have the cached maps on the Data Pilot app. If you get to your location and you haven't got a signal connected to the controller, as in um, like a 3G signal, 4G, cell phone, anything you like that's given you a, a signal to be able to cache the maps, then you need to be able to download the maps before you go to the place where you are going to fly. So I'm going to show you quickly how we're going to do that. Um, now this to some people may seem very simple um, but other people just don't know how to do it so I'm doing this tutorial just for those people um, to, to make their life a little bit easier and hopefully the guy that's um, asked for this is going to watch this later on so I'll get on to this now and I'll just show you exactly how we do it okay so let's get let's get straight into this um, tutorial and I'll show you how to cache the maps first of all you need to make sure that your controller when you switch it on is connected to your, your house Wi-Fi okay so you need an internet connection of some description you can tell this on the top right hand side of the controller app because it's got the app Wi-Fi um, signal built into it and you can see it's in the, the brown color app Wi-Fi so the app is connected to Wi-Fi at this moment in time just tap your three lines on your controller and then where it says offline maps you need to tap that so just tap offline maps okay then your offline maps will show and they will come up and you can see that I've got previous um, maps put, put in there so that when I go to those areas I haven't got to cache them anymore I've saved them so what we need to do is very top one is select add new set <coughs> excuse me and what we need to do is pick an area that we want to let's say we're going to map uh, this this uh, this green field here okay so the app is now waiting to cache and you can see that it's actually bringing up now on your left hand side you've got a minimum zoom and a maximum zoom of the cache so basically what's going to happen is you can set this on the sliders to how far you particularly want to zoom in so the higher you scroll it the closer the detail on the left hand side so the higher the detail that you're allowed to scroll into will actually end up um, making the will end up making the, uh, the the map show higher or lower to the zoom depending on how high you want to fly so we've got a minimum zoom of 15 but i want to come higher than that i want to try and get say all that area into it so i know it's cached it all and it's got it particularly well on this particular field now i want to get all of that because if you just look at the green field <coughs> excuse me again if you just look at the green field it's not going to really be enough because the aircraft might overlap so all we do is pinch to scroll out so all i'm doing is pinching the screen pretty much like you do on your phone to zoom in or to zoom out and it will come up and eventually it will cache an area it will get a certain amount of map in there now if we wanted to fly that that field that is more than enough cache to be able to get that and we can see that our zoom is quite close in uh, it's on 19 and a minimum zoom is 11 so to me it's going to be a decent sized map so if you tap name that then brings up so let's just call this uh, cache test okay and then click done and then click download okay and there we go it starts downloading now that's going to be 33.2 megabytes in size and it's going to actually end up being 3145 tiles so that means the area that i'm actually going to be flying in there is going to actually create a lot of tiles so even if i wanted to go outside that area if i went into another field adjacent to that field that i originally wanted to do then um, i would in actual fact i wouldn't need to cache it again because it's actually got it in there so 
Um, there is a little while for it to download. I did do a bit of a big map there. I, I shouldn't have done really um, because it's going to take a little while to download. But that is how you cache the maps. And once you've cached the maps and you've got them downloaded, those 3,000 tiles will always stay in the controller. You don't have to select those when you get to the airfield or whatever it is that you are uh, actually viewing and you're going to map you don't have to bring them in the controller will automatically show you that area so when you fire up the aircraft and you've got your control in the gps in the aircraft in in the controller will pick up that map and show you exactly that's that, that's where you are there if you was to go outside of that map then your map would not show it would show like a boundary now when you're flying with a cached map let's say you've got that field and you wanted to do two of those fields so you're flying the main field to start with and then you're moving across to the next field as you move across your controller will actually scroll with you it might take it it does lag a little bit but it will actually move across with you so as we can see this is taking rather a long time to download i should have done a, a smaller map um if i'm honest uh, we're 18.5 megabytes um with that It just gets all the cash from the Google Maps. You can choose which one you use. I, I, I actually choose Google, so it's, it's cash in from the Google Maps. So, as we can see, we're at 21.6. And then when it has finished downloading those tiles, it will go green. Like, as you can see from the other three that I've got uh, stored on there. Um, so, those, those particular ones have stayed green. Anyway, I'm not going to carry on warbling about this. When that finishes downloading, you just come back out, switch off your controller, and then go to the field, fire it up, and your map will be cached in the memory of the controller. Okay, I hope this is helpful. If you've got any questions, please ask them in the comments below. And as always, if this video has helped you at all, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so when I go live or I do any other tutorials, you'll be notified that they're there. Thanks very much in, indeed in, for taking the time to watch this and I hope it's helped. All the best. Take it easy.